How are Saudi Arabia and Egypt mainly connected? So Saudi Arabia and Egypt have mostly been rivals until the 1970s, and since uh, the coming to power of President Sadat in Egypt, they have had a much closer relationship until today. And there have been a few moments when the relationship has deteriorated, but it's it's pretty good, and of course it's very good today under uh, President Sisi and uh, the current king in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the relationship is based on some kind of complementarity between the two countries, uh, because on the one hand, Egypt has the human capital as the biggest Arab country with 90 million people. It has the political capital, again, you know, deriving from the human capital and the size of the country, and it has the military capital. It has the biggest uh, uh, Arab military. On the other hand, Saudi Arabia has the economic capital with all its oil wealth, and it has the religious capital with uh, the two holy cities of Mecca and Medina being located in the country. What are the key differences in political outlook between the Saudi royal family and Egypt's most Muslim brother? Um, well, um, the two, I mean, the Saudi Arabia and the Muslim Brotherhood both uh, use the uh, legitimizing resource of Islam, right, in their discourse. But in the case of Saudi Arabia, it is to support a monarchy uh, where uh, the princes, that is the political establishment, is in a partnership relationship with the uh, religious establishment, the clerics. Uh, in the case of the Muslim Brotherhood, it's more Republican form of government, which they envision, uh, where there would be no place for monarchy and no place for the princes, which is precisely what I think the Saudis have discovered since the 1990s, and that they're starting to stress them out, because they understand again that the kind of political model that the Muslim Brotherhood are promoting eventually will go counter to their own. What did Mohamed Morsi's domestic policy mean to the relationship between Saudi Arabia and Egypt? Well. Um, the Saudis were unhappy with the election of Mohamed Morsi from the beginning because he was from the Muslim Brotherhood. And again, since the 1990s, there's been a lot of, dis there's been a lot of distrust between the kingdom and the organization. Uh, and when he was in power, uh, uh, Morsi had uh, a good relationship with Iran, or at least he was trying to build a better relationship with Iran. Uh, he went to Tehran and met with Ahmadinejad during the non-aligned summit. Ahmadinejad came to Cairo when Morsi invited him. And this was an additional reason for the Saudis to distrust him, because they believed that eventually, should the Muslim Brotherhood remain in power for long, uh, the uh, Morsi was going to uh, operate a rapprochement towards Iran and move away from Saudi Arabia. This was obviously unacceptable to Saudi Arabia.